So, I was already spoiled by Dolphin's free to play by looking at my Discord, and apparently, Mermaid is banned. Um, my thoughts on the Forbidden Bin list um, Mermaid is banned, as expected. Valo to one. Weird choice. Revenge to one. I guess this is paired because of Barfa, but who really cares because he's going to play, uh, what's that guy called? The guy that just switches your monster to, def to defense anyways. Because he's going to replace that for Farfa anyway, so, what's the so whatever really. Orchestrator release, I don't even run release in general. In my Orcus deck, I literally just go play Babel. And that's basically it in return. I'm surprised that return's not hit on this list. It's more better, honestly, than release. Um, Curry Curry got plus one. Good for them. Mori Agree got plus one. Good for them. Yo Yo is an old card. It was going to get hit, I guess. It was either Yo Yo or Kai Drake. I'm surprised Kai Drake did not get hit. It should have got hit, but yeah. Tour guide to three. You can only play one in general, so whatever. Silver Rocket. I understand that it basically kills skills. And I guess this is much better hit than Tracer. So sure. Beatrice to three is whatever. Scrap Recycler to three, meaning you can't play it with Limit three traps, and that's basically it. Tatsunoko. This is, I'm pretty sure tuning is still at three, so whatever. So he just got plus one tuning, I'm pretty sure. Pin called three, so he can't play limit three traps. And that's basically it. Goki gets unlimited, cool. Crystal gets unlimited, cool. Goki finish move gets unlimited, cool. Sign up mining. It was hit and then it was unhit, so yeah, okay, Konami. Solid Ness, cool. Seer. Was this. What was Seer at? Was it at 3? I need to go look back at Seer. Stringolinius was at 3 at uh, launch and now it's unlimited, cool. This Judge, unlimited, cool. So, uh, Konami, I need to know, I need to know, like, why, Konami, why, why isn't, why isn't my card unlimited? It's been how long, Konami? It's been how long since my holiday been at two? <laughs> I don't understand why is holiday still not unlimited. Wishcrafters are not doing anything in this meta. It's, it's insane that Konami for fees are unlimited. It was at 3, actually. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Cool. This is basically to go swap for a tier guide, I guess. So, they were basically at now at full power. Outside of Farfa, obviously. Um, skill rebalancing. Where is the clear acceleration? Where is the seal tombs? Where is the crystal beast skill? Because that skill is stupid. Where is the Gandor? Well, Gandor is basically fine, I guess. Where is the raging pendulum hit? Where is the. Um. Before. Select one last. I don't see no difference. Only thing, only difference I see is the, is the wording select one monster from the list below. Outside of choose one of the following monsters, it added to your deck. Wait, then add to your deck and also you can add one random to your hand. And you can oh. Oh, I see it. Let's then add one random red eye spell and trap from your deck to your hand. As the old one says, then add one random red eyes card. So that basically, instead of just 
getting a random red eyes monster, you can actually get a red eyes spell and trap, which I don't think really matters because you run more spell and traps than you run monsters, so you're probably guaranteed to spell and trap anyway, so whatever I guess, but now you're guaranteed to spell and trap. Which is probably gonna be red eyes insight, red eyes fusion, which is at three, which is at three, or three of your Red Eyes Fang, the chain. You already run 9 out of 20 cards anyway, so yeah. But now you're basically not guaranteed to get gear, gear freed. Unless, it's, unless you're still able to get gear freed in our night, then sure. Um, congrats, you now got free Utopia. <laughs> Okay. The following effects can be used once per duel. Select one trick star link monster on your field and gain life points equal to its attack. <laughs> are we for real? Are we for real, Connelly? Are we? Are we really just copying three effects now at this point? We're really just copying three effects. Select one link monster you control and play one of the following effects. Increase the life points by that amount equal to the attack of that monster. Sick meme. Sick meme Konami. That's that's that has to be like the biggest meme of this whole band list. That's, that has to be the biggest meme of this whole band list. Master rights. You completely destroy the whole skill. No one's gonna play the skill anymore. Can be used when your life points decrease by 1500. Return one card from your hand, so you're going minus one in the ritual deck. Plus, you also had to take life point damage. Then set the ritual cage from outside of your deck, and you can only use it once per duel because you can only do it once per duel. Why butcher this skill? No one. I don't think you. I don't think ritual decks even play. Like outside of Vendreds and. And Vendreds and Maglevs. Those are the only decks that play Ritual Cage. Unless we're getting more support, I guess. But even then, there what other Ritual decks even are? I guess Psy Rangers play Ritual Cage as well. But what other Ritual decks are left to even be playable in Duelings anyway? So yeah, I don't know. Congratulations! You just you destroy the skill that you no know, that ritual decks aren't even that prevalent prevalent in the meta. They're not even that prevalent in the meta to even be worried about really, unless we're getting a new ritual. Unless we're getting more support. But yeah, my ban list, my overall thoughts on this ban list. Nightmare Mermaid getting banned. That was that was obvious. Wildo game. Game put the one. All these combo pieces put one is really whatever. Release, I don't even play release, so whatever. Curry Curry game put the two, sure. Murray degree, two, sure. Double yo yo put the two, sure. The, the, the fact that all speed Roy's got was losing one yo yo, and that's insane. Was, yeah, okay. Um, Pain Call of Three. I saw that one. That was my. That was that was one of my predictions. Tatsunoku. I was not predicting this to be three, but sure. Scrap Recycler. That was one of my predictions. So yeah, sure. One of the Rocket cards I predicted to be put the three. Sure. Tour Guide of Three. It doesn't do anything. Beatrice of Three. It's whatever. Unlimited on Gokis is cool, I guess. Crystal on Impact. Cool. Cyanide White is whatever. Swallow's Nest is whatever. Seer is whatever. These two are whatever. This skill, this ban list, in my opinion, is whatever because it did not solve the problematic things that which it should have hit. I mean, obviously, yeah, Mermaid Ban, that was a problematic card. But where is the Ibli? Where is this Clear Acceleration hit? Where is the Raging Pendulum hit? Where is. Crystal Beast hit, so now Orchestra is going to play Crystal Beast. 
it's amazing how Konami just bypasses certain cards and skills because they're quote unquote too new to be hit even though it's kind of unfair in general that Konami knows that the skill itself is broken and they do not want to just go and hit them outright even because they won a tourney they won the KC basically because of this broken skill and they decided to go hit cars that are basically going around those specific skills but even though they should have just go hit the skill instead of just hitting the cards because I feel like hitting the skill is much more better than just outright putting hit hits on the cards for no reason honestly also where where is my freaking um Where's my unlimited holiday? Why, why is witchcraft still hit? Um, nine out of nine. I give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten on the ban list. The ban list is cool. Mermaid is banned. Everything else is whatever. And yeah, orcas are still gonna be good because return and harp is still unlimited. So yeah. Sure, sure, Konami. Sure, why not? 